Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. Hello students of Matsa Surba. Welcome back to online English lesson for SMP or MTS grade 8 with me Heru Haryadi. In this video, we are going to uh, discuss about degrees of comparison. Before we start the lesson for today, let's say the dua together. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Raditu billahi rabba wa bil Islam dina. Abi Muhammadin Nabi ya wa Rasulah Rabbi zidni ilma warzubni fahma wajalni min ibadi kasalihin In the last meeting students we have discussed about present continuous tense Yeah I hope you still remember about those material and now in this video we are going to discuss about degrees of comparison what is that okay i will uh, explain it to you in the next slide well here the today's agenda the first one i will deliver the learning objective for you and then what is the degrees of comparison after that you will learn about kinds of degrees of comparison and how about the rules and also the examples. And the last one is exercise. Well, here are the learning objective for today. So hopefully after you watch this video, you are able to differentiate the, the two objects or more. And then you are able to make a comparison by using adjectives. And the last one, to be proud of them and to praise them. Well, let's start the first material. Okay, it's about degrees of comparison. What is degrees of comparison actually? Well, degrees of comparison are used when we want to compare one person or one thing to another. We use adjectives to compare that person or thing. Well, students, so this is uh, the kinds of degree of comparison. There are three types. The first one is positive degree. It is comparison to compare one thing with another in the same level. And the second one, comparative degree. It is to compare one thing with another thing in the different level. And the last one, superlative degree. It is kind of comparison to compare one thing with other thing, more than one thing. You still confused about these types of comparison? Well, I'll give you uh, the example so hopefully you can uh, understand more about this material, degrees of comparison. Okay, the first type, that is positive degree. Yeah, the rules here is put as before and after adjective. Yeah, this is the list of the adjective. Yeah, it's only the example. Actually, there are more than uh, much more adjective than this one. Yeah, for example, tall, smart, large, heavy, beautiful. Yeah, because here you learn about a uh, comparison in positive degree. So if you want to make a sentence in the form of positive degree, you have to change tall with as tall as. Smart become as smart as. Large as large as. And so on. And here the examples for you. Zahra is as beautiful as my classmate Rina. In bahasa means Zahra sama cantiknya dengan teman sekelas saya Rina. Next sentence. Manda is as smart as Dinda. So, positive degree here means uh, sama. If you want to make a sentence in positive degree means that uh, you want to compare uh, two thing or two person in the same level mm -hmm. 
Next is about comparative degree. Yeah, there are two rules if you want to make a sentence about comparative degree. Here the first rule. If it is two, uh, if it is one or two syllables, you have to put adjective with er. And then after that, put then after adjective itself. Yeah, here the list of the adjective. For example, big. Big is only has one uh, syllable, big. But it will be different with if he. If he has two syllables, he, v, he, v, two syllables. So if you want to make a sentence by using this kind of adjective, big, bigger than, slim, slimmer than, short, shorter than, heavy, heavier than, lazy, lazier than. So if you want, uh, if you find the adjective that is uh, the syllable one or two syllables, you can use this rule. So you can put er or you can add er after the adjective and then don't forget to put then after the adjective itself. Here are the examples of these sentences. Borobudur Temple is bigger than Prambanan Temple. It means that in Bahasa, Candi, Pram, Candi Borobudur lebih besar daripada Candi Prambanan. Is bigger than, lebih besar daripada. Second sentence, my pencil is shorter than yours. Pensil saya lebih pendek daripada milikmu. Okay, I hope you can understand, uh, I hope you can comprehend this material. Okay, the next rule. Here the second rule about the comparative degree. Yeah, it's still in the second type of the degrees of comparison, that is comparative degree. Uh, second rule, if it is three or more syllables, adjective doesn't change. We put more before adjective itself, then add then after the adjective. For example, yeah, you see in this column, the adjective, the syllable of the adjective is three or more. For example, Difficult. Yeah, difficult here has three syllables. Difficult. Diligent. Expensive. Generous. Beautiful. Yeah. All this adjective has three syllables. So, if you want to make a sentence by using this adjective, you can change it into more difficult than diligent more diligent than expensive more expensive than generous more generous than beautiful more beautiful than here are the examples mr handy's car is more expensive than mr halim's car i think Math is more difficult than English. In Bahasa means, mobil Pak Handi lebih mahal daripada mobil Pak Halim. So, more expensive than means, lebih mahal daripada. I think math is more difficult than English. Menurut saya, matematika lebih sulit daripada bahasa Inggris. Okay, the last type of the comparison degree, superlative degree. If it is one or two syllables, adjective plus est, and then after that you have to put the before its adjective. Yeah, this is the first rules because like the previous type, 
in superlative degree also has two rules yeah this is the first rule okay here the example of the adjectives tall smart old small lazy you see here all this adjective is only has one or two syllables tall only one syllable smart only one syllable old one syllable small one syllable lazy two syllables so if you want to make uh, or use this uh, word this adjective in superlative degree so you have to change this adjective into for example tall the tallest smart the smartest old the oldest small the smallest lazy the laziest here are the examples yoga is the smartest student in her class my mother is the tallest woman in my family means that in bahasa yoga siswa yang paling pandai di kelasnya my mother is the tallest woman in my family ibu saya perempuan yang paling tinggi di keluarga saya means that in superlative degree you talk about paling so yeah here the picture for you so you can imagine imagine about this sentence my mother is the tallest woman in my family means that one person compare with more than one person here the second rule if you want to make a superlative degree sentences the rule is if it is three or more syllables just put the and most before its adjective yeah here are the list of the adjective that you can add uh, the and also most in it difficult the most difficult well students here you can see the adjectives here has three or more syllables difficult sorry three syllables important three syllables expensive it also has three syllables right so if you find this kinds of adjective you have to put the and must in this word the most difficult the most important and so on here are the examples this is the most convenient room in the school and the second sentence she is the most suitable candidate to become student council president in bahasa Indonesia ini adalah ruangan yang paling nyaman di sekolah ini and the second sentence dia kandidat yang paling cocok untuk menjadi ketua OSIS so here most convenient sorry the most convenient means yang paling nyaman the most suitable yang paling cocok yeah here are the notes for you don't put them after adjective it's quite different with the other types of degrees of comparison in superlative you don't need to put them after adjective okay there are some exception about this uh, degrees of comparison yeah it's about the irregular adjectives yeah as you see in the previous uh, slide that uh, the adjective has the similar form with the comparative form and superlative but here in irregular irregular adjectives you find that the form of the adjective itself will be different with uh, the form in comparative and superlative for example good if you want to change it into comparative form it become better 
in superlative form best so there is no word for example good if you want to make a sentence lebih baik so you will change it into good there no but you have to use better and then if you want to make a sentence for example paling baik it's not goodest but also best and then bad worse worst far farther farthest little less least So, uh, here you have to memorize these irregular adjectives. Okay, the example. Italian food is better than American food. My cat is the best cat in the world. My mother's cooking is worse than your mother's cooking. Okay, in Bahasa Indonesia, Italian food is better than American food. Uh, masakan Itali lebih baik daripada masakan Amerika. Well, students, another exception to syllable adjectives that follow two rules. These adjectives can be used with er and est, and with more and most. Yeah, you can see in this table, you can see in this column that there are some irregular verbs that, yeah, this adjective can be used with the first rule and also with the second rule so both of them is correct for example clever cleverer you can also uh, use more clever and then cleverest most clever uh, most clever yeah both of them is correct gentle gentler more gentle gentlest most gentle quiet Quieter, more quiet. Quietest, most quiet. Simple, simpler, more simple. Simplest, most simple. So, these uh, two ways about the comparative form and also the superlative form, both of them is correct. If you want to make uh, ER rules or more. Both of them is correct, students. Well, it's time to do the exercise. Complete the following sentences by using degrees of comparison. Okay, here are the example for you. So you have to complete this sentence. It is blah blah blah, then another one. Yeah. Here are the adjective that you have to change this adjective into Uh, degrees of comparison form and here the answer it is heavier than another one it is heavier than another one so you have to change the adjective in the brackets here into the degrees of comparison form and the question number one those bags blah 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 as mine and the adjective is beautiful you have to change the word beautiful into degrees of comparison form question number two the doctor's son is the blah 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 pupil at his school the adjective is smart question number three the price of this car is blah 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 another one the adjective is expensive question number four The condition of this room is as blah blah blah, the school library, and the adjective is tidy. So students, what you have to do is to uh, comprehend the materials once more and then please do this exercise. I think that's all.
from me about this uh, material, Degrees of Comparison. Well, students, this is the end of this video lesson. Let's recite Hamdallah together. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin. Yeah, students, if you still face difficulties to comprehend the materials, don't be shy to ask to me in Google Classroom. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you on the next video.